Welcome back to wagertalk.com. Uh, Brian Leonard here, joined by myself, Marco D'Angelo. Every week we try to talk about something that's going on, something that's pertinent, maybe help you guys in your handicapping. And Brian, we went out Monday night football this week, and unfortunately, you know, Carolina just, you know, yeah. got slaughtered again. And this on the heels of the Sunday night game <laughs> where Chicago got slaughtered. And I said to you, and I said, when we started talking, I said, you know, this I think would make for a great topic. At what point, what do you do with teams that just maybe really are that bad? Because you and me, we're always looking for value when we're, we're handicapping. And we're situational handicappers. I mean, you do numbers, but you're still, to a degree, situations you look for. And one of the situations we both love is that when a team looks bad on a national stage, we want to take them the next week because there's value with them. But at some point, do you have to really just say these teams are that bad or maybe they quit? Yeah, it's a very confounding season in the NFL this year. We've seen all these high-profile games, national TV games go over the total. Mm -hmm. So the, the wise guys are just waiting in line to come in at the last minute and bet the under, losing. Um, the value guys are coming in, playing the bad football teams off of a bad performance, losing. What happened to the parity in the NFL? This is a year unlike any that I remember. There's obviously several bad teams in the NFL, but we're going to pick on Chicago and Carolina because obviously they were the two teams embarrassed on the national spotlight. But you could talk about Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, and Oakland are bad teams too. But when I watch those teams play, they're still playing hard. Right. Tampa Bay plays hard for Lovey Smith. They just don't have enough talent right now. Um, Jacksonville's the same way. They play hard for, it, for their coach, but there's a lack in talent. In Oakland, we've seen some games where Oakland's played pretty well. They've got a young quarterback that's doing well, so the future's promising, but they don't have the talent. But go back to these other two teams. What I saw Sunday night from the Bears, that scares me moving forward looking on the Bears because I don't think they have confidence in their quarterback. The quarterback is not a guy that gives you that feeling of confidence. I mean, you look at him on the sideline, his head's always down, there's no emotion, he looks like a beaten man. And Mark Tressman, my guy, the guy just, I don't know, what, what can you say? Well, I, I really appreciate the way you broke those down because the three teams you said are still playing hard or teams that didn't have any expectations. Uh, even Oakland now, nobody wants to go undefeated or, or winless on the season. You're always going to get a good effort out of Oakland. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of talent. But when you take a look at your Carolinas and your Chicagos, these are teams, Carolina goes to playoffs last right. year. Chicago was one of the teams that everybody that was loved a That was a sexy season. pick coming in. Yeah. Um, so you've got teams that, and we find this in every sport and find it in baseball all the time, teams that come into the season with expectations. They expect to go to the playoffs. They expect to have a good season. All of a sudden, things start unraveling, and they lose it. Atlanta last year. Atlanta yeah. coming off of the nice season Houston before. as well. Houston, same thing. So you see that a lot, especially when you have veteran players on these teams. They come into the season, they go, we got a really good chance to play us. All of a sudden, they fall off the map. What's, what's, when they fall behind in the game, it's like, why come back? We're not going to make the playoffs anyway. Yeah. And so that may be, you know, we don't talk a lot about in-game betting. Mm -hmm. Those are games, you watch a game, and you, can, you, you talk about, you know, the head coach having his head down, that yeah. kind of stuff. Those are the teams you want to go against because the, the, the people who are making They're a lot of money, it's back. all computer, computerized. People are do, doing it that way. So you can make money in in-game betting. But, uh, yeah. That's probably the best point we've made in, in this video is yeah. look at those teams that if as soon as you see something go wrong with them and, and you see that look it, on it's them, a it's a snowball. Thing. And it, it's when, a snowball thing. And, and that's the thing with Cutler all along. I mean, it, the, his own players say, they go, we look over at him and he's just so disgusted. You know, we drop a pass. And he, Yep, and nobody, he's, call, he's called out line be called out before. basically it's, that way. I hope this video helped you guys looking at some of these bad teams and some of the bad teams that still are trying and are worth betting on. Uh, he's Brian Leonard. I'm Marco D'Angelo. We'll be back next week with another tip for you here at wagertalk.com. You, know, you said, oh, we're going to talk about bad teams.